In the same way food can get stuck around your natural teeth, food and bacteria can always get under the bridge, in between the gum and the bridge. Cleaning your immediate final teeth is very much like cleaning your own teeth. You have to brush around all the surfaces of your teeth, the biting side, the cheek side, and the tongue side. You also have to clean beneath the immediate final teeth using a specialized floss called X-Floss. We can show you how to perform at home on a daily basis to make sure that the gums around the implants are being maintained clean and healthy. Immediately following your surgery, we will have instructions for you regarding how to first take care of them. And then again, at three weeks when we see you for your review, we will go through exactly how to use the brushes, the flosses, Implants can get infected when they're not being looked after. If you're not visiting the dentist regularly, if they're not being cleaned regularly, they can get infected. You can start feeling a little bit of discomfort around the implants. You get a bad smell from them and a bad taste in the mouth, which is normally a sign of an infection. There can be some swelling around the face, around the implant, in the gum as well. If we catch this infection, Early, it's normally very easy to treat. It is a little bit, it gets a bit more complicated if it's left and this infection develops further around the implant. We recommend using a soft toothbrush to brush your immediate final teeth. We do not recommend using an electric toothbrush as that can rattle around too much. We also recommend using a product called X-Floss to clean beneath the teeth and between the implants. We will give you a pack upon your three-week review and you're welcome to buy these from us or online ongoing. Tools like the water pick can also be used to help you to clean food out from beneath the immediate final teeth. However, they should not be used on patients who have had zygoma implants. Often when patients are asking about problems related with all of four, they're actually referring to the teeth themselves rather than the implants. It's very rare to have problems around the implants, but when you do present problems with teeth, they're normally very simple to fix and to repair, and the teeth themselves, they can be replaced every few years and get a new set of teeth. Chipped teeth are very easy to repair on your immediate final teeth. They're as simple as coming in early in the morning, we take the teeth out and we put your provisional set of teeth back in so you have teeth for the day. The lab repairs them throughout the day and by the end of the day, we put them back in again. So within one day, we're repaired and we're renewed to a new fresh set of teeth. There. These things can damage the teeth, but rarely will they affect the implant unless we're not cleaning them well or we're really overloading them, for which we have tactics to deal with them. Things like anti-clenching injections, a, an occlusal splint for nighttime grinding, upgrading to a zirconia for stronger teeth. These are ways we have to deal with overloading. Once the implants are fully integrated and healed in the bone, you can go back to a normal diet. For the first four months, we will recommend going on a soft diet to allow the implants to completely heal or osseointegrate. In the long term, anything you can eat with your natural teeth, you can eat with your immediate final teeth. Obviously, it needs to be within reason. Anything that will break a, and damage a natural teeth can also damage these immediate teeth that we put on the implants. So a normal diet like chips, toasted bread, steak, all those things you can eat with these teeth. Your immediate final teeth can be checked by any dentist. It is important to be sure they know what to look out for when it comes to implants because they are a little bit different from taking care of natural teeth there. We recommend the immediate final teeth to be checked once every six months. However, this is tailored to your cleaning habits. If you're cleaning very well, sometimes we can see you less regularly than that. Other times, if you're not cleaning quite as well, we may get you in every three to four months just to be sure we're keeping our eye on, on the gums, on the teeth, on the implants, so nothing happens to them. Thank you for watching and if you have any more questions, head to our website.